You know, I'm kind of comfortable anywhere on the field. They move me around a little bit. You know, I'm not set to any position, so I mean, they just move me around, try me out in different places. What do you like about, if you were to play that slot nickel, what do you like about that position, the duties that it has? Um, I think it's just another way to display versatility. You know, I'm able to uh, be in the slot, play coverage, be able to blitz off the edge, things like that. So I think it's just a way for them to display my versatility. I think it makes me, it, it feels good to know that they trust me and turn out and turn out believe in me so you know move me around different places what is your favorite what is your favorite spot i really don't have one honestly i like to play anywhere part of the 111 is that your favorite spot just being a player at the end. yeah Wait, i just yeah go ahead I, I think my favorite thing is making plays in multiple spots that's yeah. my favorite thing you know going from the from the half to being in the box to playing the middle of the field to playing man to man you know be able to do it all yeah and getting on the field last year you showed you showed uh, signs of what of what's to come from you and stuff. But getting on the field on a regular basis, what did you have to really, I guess, prove to the coaches that the way they're talking about you now is you got to be on the field, you know? Um, I think last year proving to the coaches was just being trustworthy. You know, we talk a lot about the guys who the coaches trust. That's who's going to get on the field. You know, you got to be, be able to make the calls, do, know what you're supposed to do, do your assignment. I think that was the biggest thing for me last year. I think I earned the coaches' trust. Yeah. Do you feel like a wild card for this defense? How would you describe it, son? I mean, honestly, I just, wherever they tell me to go, that's where I go. I don't really feel any way about myself. Are there more opportunities to make plays if you're closer to the line of scrimmage or in the box as opposed to maybe playing the, the deep center field safety spot? Um, I think there's opportunities to make plays anywhere, honestly. You know, it's just just different kind of plays based on where I am. What's it like having your brother here? I think it's super cool. You know, there's a few times out there in practice where we're out there together. So it's, it's special. You know, I haven't played with him since high school. How good does it feel, I mean, just going now, going to your second year, to be in this position where you now have a chance to play a major role for this defense? I mean, you know, obviously it feels good, but I just got to keep getting better. You know, that's all we, me and my brothers, we've just been grinding all summer. You know, we just keep getting better and we compete together. What do you think are the biggest ways in which you're better now than you were when you got here a year ago? Um, I think coming to my sophomore year, I got a lot more confidence and just being comfortable. But And, uh, you know, I feel like I know the playbook pretty well. Um, I think the biggest thing is confidence, though. People keep asking me what's going to be different about this defense from last year, and I go, well, Sonny Styles, he's a guy that's going to be, you know what I mean, based on regular playing time. What, what is your sense of what's going to be different about this defense compared to last year? Um, I think, you know, it's the second year under Coach Knowles. I think the team's going to be flying around a little bit more. I think guys got a, a, a better understanding of the defense. And, uh, yeah, I think it's just going to be a different intensity. I think we improved last year, but it's going to improve even more. Have you guys taken ownership of this defense being easy? last year wasn't good enough you understand what i'm saying i mean have y'all like as players met about it or just talked about uh some things just won't be tolerated you know what I, mean? uh, I think what we talk about is always improving you know uh we like i said we got better last year but it wasn't enough you know we came up short so we got to keep getting better going back to your brother um maybe we should ask him this question if we're if we're able to when he uh, the cornerbacks come out but was it tough trying to get him to come back home or was it a pretty easy, seamless process? Um, you know, I wasn't trying to convince him to go anywhere. I think when he when he hit the portal, he was trying to find the best place for him, and I think uh, nothing. I think home felt like the best place for him. You didn't get in his ear a little bit and say, uh, "Come on, man, come back home." Not really. No, I told him I love to play with him, but I wasn't trying to make him go nowhere. <laughs> you talked about making plays, right? But, but what goes into that? Like, what do you what do you have to do to be able to make a big play in a game at safety in terms of your, you know your physicality, your your film study? How, how do you do it? I think uh, the biggest thing is knowing your job. And the next thing I, I would say is, uh, like you said, film study. You know, being able to anticipate and to trust your eyes. I think that's the biggest thing as a safety. You know, a lot of times guys come up short from plays from not trusting their eyes. You know, that's something I got to get better at too, to be able to trust what you see and go. Well, how do you feel that anticipation, right? The kind of being it. How do you feel like you are with that right now? You know, I think I'm good, but I just need to get better. Just keep being better. You know, I, I, I strive for greatness. I think that's what we all do around here. That's why we say BIA. On the field, though, on the football field, are you the kind of guy like a shortstop on a major league team? You know, in a crucial situation, hit the ball to me. You know what I mean? Are you are you thinking I want the I want the play to come to me? I want give me your eye, give me your call process. I mean, I think if you ask anyone in the secondary, they want the play to come to them. You know, everybody wants the ball. Uh, I think that that's that's what you want though, out of your defense. You want guys who are competitive, that are hungry, and want it. Seems like in your role, I mean, you could be covering a slot receiver one play, a tight end the next. How do you kind of? prepare to kind of face guys that have you know, very different body types? Um, I think you prepare in practice. You know, we're going against the best the best receivers in the country. You know, we got some really good tight ends as well, and I think Coach E prepares me for any situation he puts me in. Do you feel like you're equally comfortable whether you're going against a slot receiver or a tight end? 
Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable. Like I said, I mean, you were going against the best receivers in the country. So, you know, going, you get to go against Marv, you get to go against Omeka, you get to go against all those guys. So you get the, those reps against the, them, then you get in the game against other dudes. I think it's uh, the game's a little slower. Who are some safeties that you like to watch or do you like their game? Um, growing up, I really liked Cam Chancellor because he's a bigger guy that also plays safety. So that was someone I really liked to watch. You know, he was physical. He was great in zone. So uh, that's someone I really liked to watch. Uh, I love to watch the YouTube videos on Sean Taylor as well. You know, they were a super physical guy. Have you seen one where, well, I won't get into that. Uh, uh, you, you personally, when you were a little kid, did you see yourself always playing defense? I mean, what? obviously your dad was a star here. I mean, yeah. what, what did you see? I definitely always see myself playing defense. You know, I played a little bit of running back growing up, but yeah. I was I was always a defensive guy. You know, even when I was little, I, I got to play a little bit of defense in the end in Little League. Then I started playing a little linebacker. Then I moved all the way back to safety eventually. So, yeah, I've always been a defensive guy. When you were Pee Wee, did you have an X on your helmet? Were you that big yet? Oh, no, nah, I, got, I got to play running back, so I wasn't that big. <laughs> and uh, one other thing, uh, Jelani Thurman, in a nutshell, what, what does he bring to the program? Not, I'm not talking about the other tight ends, but are you surprised the way he has progressed so quickly? Um, Jelani's a great player, you know, like he's, he's huge. He's a, he's a specimen. You know, you guys like to say about me, that's a specimen right there. And I think he's going to keep getting better. He's going to be a great player. I have a terrible memory. If this is wrong, I apologize. Did you ever play in the spring game where you like jumped in front of a route and almost made a pick? Yeah. Like, is that, can you like remember that player, take us through that play just to, when you're talking about the anticipation, but right? Trust in your eyes. It feels like. Maybe that was one of those moments. Yeah, I was an underneath dropper in that play, and uh, that was one where I did hesitate a little bit, and I think if I didn't hesitate, I could have had a pick and been gone with it. And that's what I'm talking about, just being able to trust your eyes, trust what you see, and go. And when you when you get all the way there with trust in that, right, what, what will that be like? I mean, I think I can become a really good player. You know, I got a great coach and coach E, and I think if I listen what, what listen what he says and just do what I'm supposed to, I think uh, he'll develop me into a good player. Sonny, uh, Coach Allen was just – talking about Malik Harford kind of compared him to you and some of those same things, the process. And what have you seen from him so far as a freshman? Um, I think what's really impressive about Malik is uh, he doesn't act like a freshman. You know, he knows what he's supposed to do. He's very trustworthy. And you can, um, I think you can expect good things from him. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't make those freshman mistakes. How has he gotten so big so quick? Uh, you know, I know Co Blake. Coach Mick does a good job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Coach Mick and the nutrition, they do a good job. You know, if you do what you're supposed to do, they're going to get you where you need to be. Was there anything he did in a weight room at some point that surprised you that um, nothing that really surprised me. I, I mean, I kind of just expect a lot from him just based on his mindset, just talking to him every day and seeing how he carries himself and handles his business. Question from the back every day. Hey, Sonny, I heard Coach Mick used to make you race JT, and he used to beat you all the time, 20, 30 yards, 40 yards. Like, nah. How did that make you feel, like, just trying to train him? I don't, I don't know if that's true, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I remember, I remember he was telling me, like, man, we have to have somebody, you know, continue to get faster and make sure y'all was... How do you feel? I, I forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah, short term memory. <laughs> Couple more questions. With you and Cam both playing that nickel spot, do you feel like you two kind of have complementary skill sets out there? Um, what do you what do you mean by that? Just like you know, obviously he's got a different body type than you have. Do you feel like you guys can kind of do some different things at that same position? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like you said, we're different body sets, so I think yeah, we can do different things. Um, I think. The, how you want to use us is just based on the situation. I guess you could say that. Anything else? The, the last question. Right? Here you are. We see you running with the ones. The decision to reclassify. What, what did you get out of it? Where Where are you today as a football player, as opposed to if you you know had gone through spring practice as a freshman? This was. Still uh, I think reclassing was a really good decision. I felt. Um, me reclassing was going to set me up for this year, and I think it did. I think I was able to get a year in my belt. I got some experience in a big game, and um, I think that really pushed my confidence ahead. You know, coming in as a freshman, it's a little harder to try and compete for a starting job on day one. I'm not saying that I couldn't have tried to compete, but I think it put me in a better place to compete for it. When you reported last year, what was your size, height, and weight? Six four two, like two eighteen. And what's your size and what, uh, height and weight now? Uh, I'm like two twenty nine. Like that. Still six four. Or yeah.